Now, if you want to animate this result, select animate, select deform plus and deform result, and then click on OK. And this animation will be saved in your file. So, hello guys, and welcome back to our channel, Simple Random Knowledge. So, guys, in last video, we have seen how to perform stress analysis on planar trusses. So, guys, in this video, we are going to see stress analysis of simply supported beam. So, guys, we are supposed to find shear force and bending moment diagram for the beam shown in this figure. We have the value of cross section and the young modulus and Poisson's ratio value. So guys, before moving towards our video, there are around 80% of people who are watching my videos, but they haven't subscribed to my channel. So I genuinely request to all you guys that please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon nearly. So without wasting any more time, let's start with today's video. So guys, this is the user interface of ANSYS APDO software. So first go to files and select option clear and start new and select do not read file click on ok and this will show you this kind of prompt whether you want to execute this command so click on yes so using this command ANSYS APDL clears all your previous data and provide you new fresh window now go to preference select structural and then click on ok now go to preprocessors as we know in any experiment we have some preprocessing steps solution and then general post processing steps so same user interface you will get in this ANSYS APDO software so select element type click on add now we are doing this experiment for beam so select beams and select two nodes 188 and then click on ok now close this window now go to material properties select material models structural linear elastic isotropic we have the value of young's modulus as 210 E9 and value of Poisson's ratio as 0.27 so click on OK and close this window you can cross check the values of Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio now go to section select beam select common section now we have the value of breadth and height so the value of B is 0.2 and value of H is 0.3 click on OK you can cross check the value of rectangular cross section area so the same value we have taken now go to modeling select create now we are supposed to create key points so select key points option in active cs now the first point we want on origin so just click on apply so by default ansys will create this key point on origin now the second key point we want on 2 comma 0 comma 0 click on apply and third key point we want on 4 comma 0 comma 0 so click on ok so here you can see we have created three key points now we want to connect these three key points so go to line select line in active coordinates select key point number one and two and then click on apply and again go to this option select key point number two and three and then click on ok so this way we have connected these three key points now we are going to divide this single line in number of division so that we get a proper simulation result so we move to the option of meshing minimize this create option and select meshing select size control manual size lines and select option all lines and now we can set the number of element divisions so we select 50 click on ok so here you can see this line is divided into 50 divisions now we want to mesh these 50 divisions so again minimize this line go to mesh select lines so here you can see at the bottom we have the option of pick all so select pick all so this way we mesh all the divisions along with this line now we are supposed to define the boundary conditions so minimize this meshing option go to loads select new analysis static click on ok now go to define loads select apply structural displacement on key point select key point number one and three select apply now we are not going to restrict all the degrees of freedom so select the degrees of freedom that i am selecting right now and then click on ok now minimize this displacement go to force moment now here you can see that the middle node is not shown properly so go to plot and select lines so here you can see the difference in lines so that we can easily select the middle point now select option on key points and select midpoint 
click on OK. Now the direction is FY and the value minus 2000. Click on OK. So this way we have defined the boundary conditions. Now minimize this structure and loads option. Go to solution and select option solve. Select current LS and then click on OK. So here you can see we have done with our solution. So close this command. Now we move to the general post processing steps. So go to element tables and select define table. Select add scroll down by sequence number and the sequence number is SMIS3. Click on apply. We got a prompt that requested database is not available. So first close this windows and then close this prompt. Now how to resolve that problem? First of all go to result viewer. Select degrees of freedom x component and just simply close this window again. So this way your problem will get solved. So go to define table, select add, select by sequence number. Now we have some default sequence number that we are going to use for getting a bending moment and shear stress. So first sequence is SMIS3, click on apply. Then again go to by sequence number. Second we have SMIS6, click on apply. Then again go to by sequence number SMIS 16, click on apply and last we have SMIS 19, click on OK. So this way we have defined four labels. So close this window. So in question you can see we are supposed to find shear force and bending moment diagram for this beam. So go to plot result, select contour plot, select line element. Now for getting bending moment diagram. So the first element table will be 3 and second we will select as 60. So this is the standard label that we use for getting the bending moment diagram. So click on OK. So here you can see we have got bending moment diagram. So for capturing this image, go to plot control, select hard copy, to file, select a file format as JPEG and click on OK. So this way your image will be saved in your folder. Now again go to line element results. Now for getting shear force diagram, we will select SMIS 6, SMIS 90. So this is the standard labels that are used to get a shear force diagram. So just click on OK. So here you can see we have got shear force diagram. So for capturing this image, go to plot control, select hard copy to file, select file format as GPEG and then click on OK. So this image will be saved in your file. Now we want to see the deformed shape of our simply supported beam. So go to deformed shape, select deformed plus undeformed result, click on OK. Now here you can see this image is 2D. So we don't get a clear idea of our results. So if you want to create this image in 3D form, go to plot control, select style, size and shape and make sure this display of element is turned on, click on OK. Now this is the side view, so for getting the isometric view, select on isometric view. So here you can see we have got a deformed shape result of our simply supported beam. Now if you want to animate this result, again go to plot control, select animate, deform shape, select deform plus and deform results and then click on ok. So here you can see we have animated this result and this animation will be saved in your file. So guys, this way we have successfully performed experiment on stress analysis of simply supported beam using ANSI Sepedial software. So guys, if you have liked this video, then please hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon near it. And if you have not watched my previous videos on ANSI Sepedial software, then I will provide a link in description as well as in i button. So until our next video, stay safe and happy learning. Thank you.